Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowles Central. We got another game review for you today. This one, this is a good one, okay? <laughs> this is a special one, because I personally, I don't know about you, but I've been a Marvel fan my whole life, and specifically, I've been a Spider-Man fan my whole life. My brother got me into Spider-Man when I was a kid. Uh, got me into comic book reading and comic book collecting, and I still kind of read comic books to this day. Go to all the Marvel movies, you know how it be. Uh, so this is Spider-Man 2. Uh, you might ask, what was Spider-Man 1? Well, if you're not in the know, Spider-Man 1 was a PS4 exclusive. Uh, came out five years ago. Uh, and, you know, they did a, they did a, a uh, remaster on PS5, which was just glorious. And then they made a small um, secondary game about Miles Morales, uh, who is the second Spider-Man in this, not just Peter Parker now. We got Miles Morales. If you're familiar with the uh, Spider Verse cartoon movies, uh, which are amazing, God, I love those movies. They're so colorful and so cool. You'll know Miles. You'll know his story. Um, this is Spider-Man Two. This is the sequel to that first uh, PS4 game, and it does not disappoint. Uh, I was super excited for this all year long, maybe more than a year, and I'm happy to report that this game nails it. It doesn't nail it on all fronts. Uh, there's still some peculiarities with this specific series uh, that I kind of wish that they would just kind of. Um, well, they have they have tried to address. They have tried to address it. Uh, you know, what? a big feature of this game is also the fact that it's got Venom in it. Um, this is this is a story about the the symbiote suit, the black suit, uh, which which Peter Parker gets. Um, you know, about a third of the way through the game, maybe a quarter of the way through the game. Uh, and it sets up all this drama and all this pandemonium. The story's great. If you're, if you're, if you're used to Spider-Man storytelling, this is a good one. This is one for the ages. Um, especially since it incorporates Miles so beautifully. I love Miles Morales. He's, he's a newer Star Wars, you're Star Wars, jeez. <laughs> He's a newer Spider-Man uh, character. He's a newer Spider-Man. He was created for the uh, Ultimate Universe in the comic books. And they, they allowed him to make the jump to the main universe just because he's cool. He's, he's, he comes from a slightly different place from a narrative perspective. He comes from a different cultural background than Pete. Uh, but he, he, because of what he's been through and who he is... He's just as dedicated to helping out the little guy. He's just as dedicated to this principle that, uh, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. He's a great hero. He's a great Spider-Man. And what's really cool about this game, they're good foils for each other because Peter, you know, he's, he's, he's been around. He's been doing this for over 10 years at this point, as far as I can tell. That's my guess. It's about 10 years. Uh, so he's teaching Miles the ropes. He's teaching Miles to be a Spider-Man. Um, and that's a great kickoff for the story, but that's not where the story really ends. Because as, as we all know, as soon as this symbiote uh, black suit, this Venom suit, gets involved, all bets are off. And things start turning a little bit darker for Peter Parker. Uh, and his friends start having to deal with that. So, you know what? It's a, it's a really excellent story. You're not gonna you're not gonna have any problems with that. Um, the game looks amazing. Uh, I I don't think I have to convince you of that. If you have eyes and you are watching this video right now, you can see just how incredible it is. This is like the first uh, PS5 game where my jaw was on the floor. Now I'll I'll say that God of War Ragnarok was another of those type of experiences, but I feel like this outdoes it. I mean, it's just. Every moment is epic, even if you're not really doing that much. Even if you're just like sitting on a rooftop, perched, looking out over New York City, it's like, it, it's great. It's, it's such a wonderful full experience. And again, Insomniac Games, the developer, they, they realized they didn't really have to reinvent the wheel completely. Um, the city, New York, is a little bit bigger. It's got a couple of the boroughs. It's got Queens and Brooklyn now. Um, and I think that, that Manhattan itself is a little bit bigger, if I'm not mistaken. So there's more to, there's more to see. There's, there's, there's more to do. Um, my main complaint overall, and it's not much of one, but it is a bit of one, it's that some of the time it gets kind of same-same. 
Uh, and this is this isn't really necessarily just a problem with this game. This is kind of a problem with all modern open world adventure action games. They have to populate the world with stuff to do, and and it it gets same same. It it, it loses a lot of its variety. And Spider-Man 2 is not really different. The, the funny, the cool thing that Insomniac always understood was that uh, if you have to fight crime on the side, which Spider-Man absolutely does to complete the experience. Uh, they should make it so that you're earning uh, th ways of like uh, unlocking new suits because the suits are where it's at. All these cool Spider-Man suits, uh, or unlocking new uh, technology for your web shooters, or giving yourself a health boost, or giving yourself a speed boost, or whatever it is. So, doing the side activities means something in the Spider-Man games, but it's like how often, how many times can you stop the same speeding car? from almost killing people in the middle of Manhattan. It sounds exciting, and it is, but it is kind of, after a while, it gets kind of the same. And again, this is a complaint about all open world games at this point. It's not just Spider-Man, so. Um, you know what, the, the, the action, the actual combat and stuff here, see, so like stopping this car. You stop this car a lot. It looks great, but you do it a lot. Um, anyway, the action is, pretty spectacular uh again like there's not much variation between the, the the way the different playables fight so miles morales and peter parker fight pretty pretty similarly even even though their powers are different um it's the same button layout so you're not you're going to be familiar from one character and you're never going to feel lost but again it kind of plays into this same sameness and like I said, big surprise, Venom is in this game. But again, he kind of, not to spoil too much, really, I don't want to spoil this because this is a great story and it deserves to be discovered. Um, even Venom is a little bit samey-samey, although it's, it's whatever. I'm not, again, I'm not going to spoil it. So, so that's Spider-Man, man. Like, they've added, mobility is, a, is, a, is an improvement. They've added this, um, this wingsuit these web wings to your spider suit so that you can now glide uh, a certain ways. And they've added all these kind of wind tunnels throughout the city so that if you catch one, you, in your web, in your web wings, you get carried, you know, as far as you could ever want to go. And I worried when I saw this uh, invention, I worried that it was going to take away from the web swinging because to me, the web swinging is the thing that this game is just so delightful. And it's the thing that, that long-standing Spider-Man video game fans know goes all the way back to the original Spider-Man 2, uh, which was actually just the game for the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 2 movie. Everybody knows that was like the first time Spider-Man was really done right in a video game. So the web wings don't take away from that, though. You're still mostly using your 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 standard method of traversing the city plus the web wings. It's a great addition. Um, I have absolutely no complaints about that. I don't have much to say about this game other than wow. Uh, again, I am a Spider-Man fan. Uh, again, my brother my brother really beat that into me <laughs> gently with 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 love. And with fun, because, you know, they had that awesome Spider-Man cartoon in the 90s. I grew up with that. It showed me all there was to know about this character and about this world. And this game doesn't disappoint on that level either, because there's plenty of side characters and bosses that are just going to be kind of surprising for Spider-Man fans. So, whoo! That's what I got to say about, about Spider-Man 2. There's, there's, there's so much more to say, but you know what? I'm trying to keep this to a 10 minute video. So, uh, that's it. That's it. I'm giving Spider-Man two a nine out of 10, such a great game, such a fun experience. Uh, if you have any affinity for this character from Marvel comics, or if you just love an amazing action game and you have a PlayStation five, try it out. You, you shall not uh, be disappointed. So, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, hit the little notification bell. Kablam! All right. So this is the part of the of the video where I advertise my music to you. <laughs> Believe me, nobody wants it to be over quicker than I do. 
Uh, this is Bridges Burned by Audiophile. That's me. You can check it out on Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, Amazon Music, Tidal, whatever. Any streaming platform you can imagine, including right here on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Just navigate to my channel and go to my albums. You'll see it there. It's a great album. Tons of cool music. Again, you won't be disappointed. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good day.